Okay, here this is Legato, and today we're going to be looking at rotating doors. Okay, first of all, what I've done is here is build a square box room, see some lights in, and some player starter points. In the center of the room here, I've got a wall that's going across, cutting the room in half. And on this wall, I've got the texture dev measure door. Now, what this does is this gives me. Um, basically the exact measurements for a standard door without me needing to guess um, so it's roughly this, you know, just above the height of a player but what happens is this is the exact height that a door needs to be for a player to be able to pass through it okay, what we need to do now is concentrate on one of these little door bits select the wall and now what we need to do is we need to carve a hole in this wall. Now usually the carve tool is avoided because it leads to bad optimization, but because you're all big, beginner mappers, we'll ignore that for now and we'll just use the uh, the carve tool just for ease. So what we need to do is we need to carve a hole in the wall that's on that inner white bit there. Because this bit needs to be removed. That orange bit there is the door frame and the grey bit here is the actual wall. So what we need to do is we need to select our block tool here and we need to make a block that fits flush with the white border on the texture. Okay, so it takes a little bit of lining up make sure that your texture is perfectly aligned uh, that your block is perfectly aligned flush with the floor and flush with these white edges otherwise your door will be wrong okay so once you've done that like with any block just press enter to create it now I'm going to texture a different texture just so we can see where the block is okay now we need to carve the hole, so what we do is we select the block and then once it's selected anywhere on your grid inside the selected item right click and go to carve click carve and then press delete that will remove the box for you so you can now see what's going on I'm also going to texture the inside of the door a different texture just so we can see what's going on on the inside so as you can see now we've got a wall that's textured, uh, a hole in our, in our wall where the door would be. That's a perfect size for a uh, door, and obviously the players could run in and out of this. But what we need to do now is we need to add an actual door into this. So click on our entities tool, then move over here to the, see the drop down menu and type in prop rotating. prop door rotating just there so you need to type in prop underscore door rotating now what we need to do is anywhere on our camera just click with the mouse with the entities tool selected and it'll appear there's a little box now it doesn't really look like a door so what we do now is select the entity right click inside it as we did with the block go to properties and to world model here on our object properties click that then click browse and as with the textures we get another window we have a filter here and down here in the filter for this tutorial I'm going to use door 01 underscore left now that gives us a nice door double click that and press apply and our door appears now it's in the wrong place so what we need to do is we need to move the, the door into the right place fairly simple make sure it's the actual model that's applied if you zoom in quite far you'll see that the red line isn't where you're aligning it it's actually just inside the red line is where the door actually is so make sure that that's flush at the top and the bottom otherwise your door won't work go back into the properties choose a moving sound again in this list here 
where, where we selected world model down a bit there's moving sound same as with world model press browse you'll get a list again similar you'll have a filter at the bottom type in door and you'll get all the door sounds scroll down choose any that you want I'm going to use this one here door sound default move sounds alright press apply and then close the properties save your map and if you run your map now with the tool here you should find that you, you have a fully rotating door hopefully that's uh, a good tutorial for you to get beginning any questions obviously just post on the forum um, and have fun experimenting with the different model skins, different sizes of doors, different speeds. Again, in the properties menu, you can change all these different options, fiddle about with them, see what happens. You know, it's all about being creative. Obviously, don't worry about this door handle not being here. Once the uh, map's rendered, Half Life automatically puts a door handle on for you. So, okay then, have fun, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.